welcome to the channel welcome to another video um today i'm kind of trying something new we'll see how it goes we'll see if it works um just to jump straight into it here it is it's a volvo electric power steering pump i had to use it's a mazda reservoir um with some 5 8 hose uh, cinched up. As you can see, I zip tied it to um, the OEM Volvo frame. It's got studs welded onto the bottom, uh, 3 8 bolts go up through those. It's got bones bushings, like skateboard truck bushings, um, on the bottom of these, and then OEM rubbers uh, right here. Then we've got your uh, high pressure line and the return line. Uh, I just filled it up with CHF202 uh, and it's a plus that I have a Volvo and a Volvo rack, so <clears throat> that should uh, work hand in hand. Um, but this is it. Um, for now, I'm going to leave my, I believe it's a, a canvas controller, um, technically speaking. I don't know for sure, but uh, Bruno, Antunes, or, yeah, Bruno Antunes um, makes this kit here. It runs up to, if you can see it, uh, you can't, it's dark, but there's a box right here. Let me get a light going. And you'll have a variable speed controller running off the gray and yellow, I believe. The red goes to 12 volt um, switched, then black ground. And then of course you've got you know, your ground here and your power directly to the battery. And so right now I have it hooked up to a the BMW inline 50 amp fuse. Um, I need to check it before I actually plug it in and run it and, you know, flush some fluid through it. So I've got my battery here. I'm going to do that now, see what my readings are and just go from there. So we'll see if it works. 12 volts. Come on now. There we go. Going through it. So theoretically speaking, I should be able to just plug this in. No? Okay. All right, so that did not work. Um, I took a, a bit of time to read the instructions and just wire it up in a, a mock-up sense. So, um, here we have it all now set up uh, properly, I believe. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I just plugged these in. I've flipped my switch, gotten the amber light lit up, so I'm getting power. Uh, I've checked it with a multimeter. Uh, so hopefully this does work and hopefully all the parameters are met in order to operate this from my understanding. Uh, that's how it works. So uh, I've got fluid in it. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm just doing a short spritz on the button to see if this works. Uh, I've got a 20 amp fuse for the switch. I want to see about getting a 2 amp fuse that I've got hooked up from this uh, just to protect the controller. I guess this is the moment of truth. Hey. It works. Fuck yeah. I just did a very mediocre uh, flush of my steering rack. I got my legit return 
uh, set up and hooked up to the rack. So I had to take it slow and steady, kind of still bleeding it. Uh, I'm still getting minor air bubbles here and there. And there it goes, kicking down. It's the first chance I've really let it do that. And then I've got a variable speed controller for it. Haven't even hit this yet. See, kicks up. I'm gonna turn it back down. Honestly, I think the lowest setting will probably be fine for this rack. We'll see though. But that is it. And power off. So, so we've got my engine. We've got power steering. It's checked off. Uh, I fixed the brake lines. So before it was straight AN, I've gone back to the hard lines um, with a little bit of A in there. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. There's that. Guess I'm here, I'm ready. I gotta fit the radiator, but I'll do that with the engine in. I'll make a few more things in there for the, the gauges. Clean up the interior. Um, I guess this gets a cap now. I, I don't know where I put it. So, uh, it's the end of this video, I suppose. Um, thanks for watching. I'm actually super stoked. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work at all. So, uh, needless to say, it works. Love, peace, chicken grease. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. I'm stoked on this one.